have most of your heat, which you leave, a lot of heat leaves through your head and also your core, your torso areas. Um, there's a lot of heat storage in there. As always, please remember to protect your pipes, pets, plants, and people, of course, because this is one of those times it could be a life or death situation. Katie Frazier, ABC7. Those dangerous temperatures is what's prompting the city to open warming centers. Here is a list of the centers that will open across the city. They'll open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. from December 23rd to the 25th, which is Christmas Day, of course. The city is encouraging those who are seeking access to warming centers and or experiencing insufficient heat to visit one of these warming centers that you now see here on your screen and or contact 311 for more information. The city recommends that people should avoid any unnecessary trips outside during these freezing temperatures. And if you have to go outside, limit the amount of time you spend in the elements. And if you want to see that list again, we have it for you on KVI.com. Now we move to the latest on our complete coverage of the border crisis. Despite the ongoing migrant crisis that has made national headlines, officials at the Sun Bowl say the game is still on. Yesterday, though, the event organizers announced the cancellation of the Fan Fiesta. The event is typically held at the convention center, and now that is being used to temporarily house migrants. ABC 7's Rosemary Montañez joins us live from the convention center. Rosemary. Eric, like you mentioned, this convention center behind me opened up to migrants yesterday. Up to 1,000 of them could be temporarily housed here. This humanitarian crisis not only changing the plans for those officials here, but also for game officials. Now, Bernie Oliva is the executive director of the Sun Bowl, told me he found out about this just yesterday. He says it came as a shock, but was expected. He reassured me that the game and other activities will still be happening as planned. Oliva says the Fan Fiesta is a free event, so the economic impact wasn't largely felt. But he says his office has been getting phone calls from people saying they're hesitant to come out to El Paso because of this crisis. He says he continues to assure those out of town fans to still get their ticket and still come out to the game. We're bringing thousands of people from Pittsburgh and UCLA this year and, you know, some of their fans from around the country, and they're not going to enjoy one of, the, one of our better events that we put on throughout the week that involves our community. A lot of the events that we put on for the Sun Bowl are for the football team and for the official parties, but the Fan Fiesta was open to anybody. If people need help, let it be. You know, we have the winter storm coming in, but I don't think we have enough resources to facilitate these people. You heard from fans there. Olivas went on to tell me that this uh, event brings in millions of dollars each year. Just how much money and what they're telling fans to reassure them. I'll tell you that coming up on ABC 7 at 6. But for now, reporting at the El Paso Convention Center, Rosemary Montañez, ABC 7. All right, Rosemary. And now